Greek music great Mikis Theodorakis dies at 96 Mikis Theodorakis, the beloved Greek composer whose rousing music and life of political defiance won acclaim abroad and inspired millions at home, has died Mikis Theodorakis, the beloved Greek composer whose rousing music and life of political defiance won acclaim abroad and inspired millions at home, died Thursday. He was 96. His death at his home in central Athens was announced on state television and followed multiple hospitalizations in recent years, mostly for heart treatment. Theodorakis's prolific career, that started at age 17, produced a hugely varied body of work that ranged from summer symphonies and an anthem for the Palestinian Liberation Organization to popular television and the film scores for Serpico and Zorba the Greek. But the towering man with trademark worker suits, Coarse voice and wavy hair also is remembered by Greeks for his stubborn opposition to post-war regimes that persecuted him and outlawed his music. The Greek flag was lowered to half-staff at the Acropolis as three days of national mourning were declared. He lived with passion, a life dedicated to music, the arts, our country and its people, dedicated to the ideas of freedom, justice, equality, social solidarity, Greek President Katerina Sakalaropoulou said in a statement that he wrote music that became intertwined with the historical and social developments in Greece in the post-war years, music that provided encouragement, consolation, protest, and support in the darker periods of our recent history. Born Michael Theodorakis on the eastern Aegean island of Chios on July 29, 1925, he was exposed to music and politics from a young age. He began writing music and poetry in his teens, just as Greece entered World War II. During the war, he was arrested by the country's Italian and German occupiers for his involvement in left-wing resistance groups. Some of those same groups bitterly opposed the government and monarchy that led immediately Greece after the war, leading to a 1946-49 civil war in which the communist-backed rebels eventually lost. Theodorakis was jailed and sent to remote Greek islands, including the infamous re-education camp on the small island of Makronissos near Athens. As a result of severe beatings and torture, Theodorakis suffered broken limbs, respiratory problems and other injuries that plagued his health for the rest of his life. He suffered tuberculosis, was thrown into a psychiatric hospital, and was subjected to mock executions. Despite the hardships, he managed to establish himself as a respected musician. He graduated from the Athens Music School in 1950 and continued his studies in Paris on a scholarship in 1954. A prolific career as a composer began in earnest, as he worked in a huge range of genres from film scores and ballet music to operas, as well as chamber music, ancient Greek tragedies and Greek folk, setting the work of leading poets to music, including Spain's Federico Garcia Lorca and the Greek Nobel laureate Odyssey Zelotis. A music series based on poems written by Nazi concentration camp survivor Iakovos Kambanilis, The Ballad of Mothosin, described the horrors of camp life and the Holocaust. But it was the Oscar winning film.